Hi, I am interviewing Chef Um, just found out yesterday that he was supposed to be awarded a Michelin star, and somehow it was taken away because he and served gnocchis that were bad. Oh, no. I, I, Chef, I, please I, explain what happened. I, I, I know, sir. I, you didn't serve, but it came from your restaurant, I Chef. I was not there. It's, but, uh, no, just see, because you weren't there doesn't mean that it still didn't happen. You, you see, <laughs> And many people got sick many, from this gnocchi. Um, I, ha I have a question. With the man of your you know, your intelligence and your skill sets, like, why would you not make gnocchis? When Sanada and I come from the old country, you know, we had nothing. We come here, we only share love for food. Okay. You know, you eat the food, it's love. I put it in everything, everything. We come here, they have the thing we don't have. They have the gnocchi, they have the salt in the jar, you know that. That's of course we're going to use that. So yes, but that. gnocchis are something that could be made I, anywhere. I know how they can machine. be made in any household I, I nowadays. My, like, I, all you do is you roast the potatoes, you add eggs, flour, and... If you don't have the little paddle board that's used to make the gnocchi shapes, you can still use forks. You still haven't answered why you decided to use past gnocchis when it was just an easier, more reasonable thing to make them. And because, you know, when it's in the store, we can use it. We focus on the other things that are good. The other things that are good. Now, was it bad? I don't know. I wasn't here. But, uh... So, where were you then, Chef? Uh, I mean, several reports showed up. And it was your restaurant. It was your dish that you created. It's like, only my restaurant. How did... You allow this. We, Why did you allow this? When Sonata and I came from... You keep mentioning her, but she's not in the picture. This is part of the story. The love. We put the love. to this is the love. We, put, we have a little salt. That's a little love, too. And sometimes it's just not for everyone. You know, you go... You, you're a little... You know, when you were a child down there on the, the river, working the boat, whatever, and, and you see a girl, you think, oh, she's pretty, it's love, but it's it's not. It's not for everyone. When you meet a Sanaida, you know. And she come here, and we had nothing. And so Chef, you're, you're now talking about a love story, which is nice. And I'm sure the listeners... You know, don't mind this, but they want to know how and why you serve gnocchi that was bad. Who's, Several who's, who's reports. Say bad? Who said bad? Several reports Some people... stated that the gnocchi was sour. Oh, see. And I don't think it was anything else in that dish. And I know this because I ate there last night. I know, you know, some people, they don't like the corn, and so they don't eat the corn. In the old country, we had nothing. We had nothing. Some days we not even eat. But then I come here, land of plenty. You know what I not like? I, I, I not like uh, cheddar cheese on fish. So I not eat it. I don't go to the, to the newspaper and say, no. Oh. So, uh, whatever they say, it's probably nothing. It's probably just personal preference. I can't please everyone, but I put the love, a little love, in everything. But it was everybody that ate that dish last night no. that got sick. It wasn't a preference thing. I've had gnocchi several times, and this is the first time that I had an issue with the gnocchi having a very... Horrible aftertaste and bitterness to it.
So you're not answering the question. It makes it makes me think you you know like, how did you allow this? You know you know like to make the love. No. It's, it happens in the kitchen. We make the love. It turns into the gnocchi. Everyone happy. How is the gnocchi turning in from this love that you we speak make of? We the love in the you, kitchen. You literally just stated that gnocchi wasn't made in your kitchen, no, that it's store-bought. We, we make the love in the kitchen. We use the same countertop. I don't know. Hey. 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 Who are you speaking to, chef? Hey. Who made the gnocchi yesterday? Marco! Marco going to pay for this. But how is Marco going to pay for this? Marco! You literally just told the listeners that you don't make gnocchi. Marco! You're fired! Get out and take everything! Your little girl too, she can suck it! That's what they say. You see, that is how we solve the problem. He go home, he cannot feed his family. I laugh, I laugh, as they slowly wither. The American dream is no more because he disappointed you. And you know what? He didn't disappoint me. He disappointed you. It is your and fault. And you are lying to the listeners. You said you buy your gnocchis. Now you're trying to blame it on one of your cooks. That is not what a chef really does. That is not what a leader does. You, sir, are a horrible chef. You... Do not need these restaurants open. You need to find something else to do with your career. I come from the old country. I don't care where you come from. I'm telling you that you, sir, should not be a chef. Will, that is it. I will have this your is pay. open. You will pay. No. You will pay. I won't. Marco, come back. This one, they turn it off in the old country no. where no. I come from. We, we are not responsible for these things. You are responsible. There is love, America. there is passion. If you can't afford my restaurant, go somewhere else. You poor. I you, can afford it. Dirty. And several people can. You're dirty. Your restaurant is dirty. My restaurant cleaner than your house. Probably. And we make love in the restaurant, not in your house. Who makes love? We now we neither. I don't know who she is, but we you make love on everything. Do not need to be in this industry anymore. You turn that This off. interview is over, this and not over. because out, of you. Out because of you do not need to be 